How no, quickly, like how quickly do you think we would get flagged on something if we had a podcast about stealing things from Home Depot? Holy shit, how has it only been 18 minutes? I've been here for six years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, we should do a soda podcast. Wouldn't that be fun if we did a soda podcast? Hey, welcome back to Off the Air with the Sodas. <laughs> Is that what we can... Can we call it that now? Can that just be... No. Can we do a soda review podcast? No, that's... No. I would hate to do that. I would hate I would, to do that. I would also. hate that much soda, Personally, I'm not gonna lie. I said it I out loud. I did like five minutes of beer review for like three months at one point in time. Mm-hmm. And you know, I, I don't do that anymore because I got bored of that. Well, not bored of that, but like... You ran out I'm of good beer? I'm tired of having five beers in my fridge. Well, yeah. I ran out of good beer. I just like don't drink that much. So I just had mm-hmm. like 75 beers in my fridge. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, my issue with being a soda podcast is I just don't need that much soda in my life. Yeah, no, I I, find no, 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 here's the bigger problem. The to make it good, we would have to all have soda. But for us to all have the soda, we would have to be doing shit tier base grocery store sodas because we're poor. No, because I'm not going to order online like some weird fancy soda just so I can be like, yes, I imported this coca-cola knockoff from germany this did is I ever a take you belgian to, did cream did i ever take you to rocket fizz when you were in philly yeah you did okay so like what the fuck are you talking about i would just go to rocket fizz buy three of a specific drink and ship it that's so much work do it like once at the beginning of a month get four drinks together that we're going to drink that month and then ship them off like what i could mm-hmm. hell i could ship t- i could ship them all just well, to you like you, you guys are close enough entire podcast reviewing a single thing though you're oh yeah imagine imagine that yeah, because yeah, all we're, we're doing we're right do now that. is we're going to talk about Winter Red Bull for like 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Not even. We're going to talk about it for what like are you, 10 minutes? minutes. You got 10 minutes of content on Winter Red Bull? I haven't even tasted it yet, so I don't know. Maybe it's going to awaken some senses or something. But It's like, not 10 minutes of content worth a good. Yeah, no. Well, I, got I was right. This is really bad. blah. It's, it's not bad. Like it's it not lot, good, but, but it's, not, it's not bad. I, I like it. I've I definitely I had say, a lot worse Red Bulls. This is the best winter edition that we've had in a while. I think that this is the one of the best Red Bulls I've had in a long time. Really? Okay. I, I like it, yeah. It just kind of tastes like a melted Jolly Rancher. I was th- yeah, I, that is exactly what I was going what I was thinking, like a melted blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. Cuz it's not it's not Yeah, it's just a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. That's 100% what it is. It's a one for one flavor uh, copy. It's not bad. Yeah. It has a little but bit of an aftertaste great. that I'm not a fan of. That's Red I don't Bull know Jolly Rancher. Like, no, Jolly no, Rancher not that one. Eons. What was that Jackson? I've been a Jolly Rancher in probably like ten years. Dude, Jolly Ranchers are top three favorite candy for me. I've, I, I, I think I've definitely I haven't had candy those. in like eight years. That's that's I had really some Welch's a fruit snacks a couple days ago. Yo, Welch's fruit. You know who has great? I've talked about this before. You know who has great fucking fruit snacks? Not Walt. the Scooby Doo ones. Those fucking no. suck. Ba- the the Thank basic God. tangy Walmart fruit, great value fruit snacks are actually fire. I actually like them more than Welch's. Ooh, I, mean, I really okay. like Welch's. I just like because you can get the really big bag of Welch's ones. That's true. Jackson, didn't I give you one of my Werther's when you were here? That's true. I guess that is a candy, huh? It is a candy. I guess it's just for such, like, it's for old people to the extent such that, like... It's not even you know. candy in your mind anymore? Because uh, yeah, I was like, like oh, that's yeah, that's a Werther's. Have. It's like, yeah. Old people don't enjoy things. There's Yo, no way they could have candy. Um, One of my co-workers has a dish of candy that has Werther's in it, but it's all very old candy. So I'm uh, like, well, I like Werther's. I'll have one. I unwrapped oh, it and no. I popped it in my mouth and it was soft. Oh no. They do make soft worthers. But uh, yeah. This was not a soft worther though. This was. You, you hate to see it. This was a hard candy that had gone soft. It was one of the grossest experiences uh, that I've had in a long time. Well, that's all I've got. Um, yeah, no, it, it's not bad. So yeah, Red Bull Winter Edition, Arctic Berry. Yeah, guys, we should do a soda podcast. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun if we did a soda podcast? It tastes like berry. Of course it tastes like berry, Noah. <laughs> it's a berry flavored Red Bull. No, that's what I said. Arctic berry. Uh, I, I don't have anything else to say about it. It's it's just, it's fine. It beats regular Red Bull like 10 times out of 10. I mean, yeah. But there's no, not I, much that doesn't beat regular Red Bull. Yeah, regular only, Red Bull tastes like piss. Regular Red Bull is only good as a mixer. I like and Red Bull. Not even that all the time. I think Red Bull tastes good. I, I'm, I, I'm glad that you think that. I have I an entire case. could not disagree so, more. I, I am also in the I will drink Red Bull regularly, but I as like a if I'm going to have an energy drink, I'd rather just have like a monster. I think you misheard me saying I drink Red Bull regularly. I don't drink Red Bull really at all, mm-hmm. but like I think it tastes fine. No, yeah. like, I, I don't know. No, I don't like straight silver can. Red Bull is not good for me. Wow. Why is it going to be silver can though? 
It's their regular can what? color. What? Do you, why do you? Why do you is that blue? Is that the regular like... can color blue? No, it's a silver can. There's just like a blue, like the paint on the the, the can yeah. itself is silver. No, oh, okay, fine. Yeah, unlike I'll give you that. Fine. like all their and special there's, there's editions the, the are because they have like red edition, blue edition, green mm. edition. They have like their colored can editions. Mm. Standard can is silver with blue and a splash of red. Okay. Okay. I don't know. It's just fine. I would not buy it again because I think, honestly, weirdly, I think it might actually be a little too sweet. I'm going to be honest. I, I, it, it is a very sweet Red it's Bull. It's an extremely sweet Red Bull, almost to the point where like I'm like, nah. Because um, that's the sound no, I, I make when that. things are too sweet, obviously. Is all Red Bull really sweet? Um, Maybe. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, it, it, definitely, it definitely isn't hitting like a regular Red Bull would. I don't know. It's fine. It's a fine drink. It's not good. It's fine, in my opinion. Well, thank you word for it. <laughs> Will you? I was, yeah, I was really curious. I was like, I don't know if I can trust him on this Red Bull take, but now, now that you've explained it in such a <laughs> concise and meaningful manner, I have no choice but to accept your opinion on this Red Bull Winter Edition. Mm. You can accept, listen, you can accept an opinion and not agree with it. Wow. Point I don't agree with that. But ultimately meaningless. Much like my opinions. <laughs> so yeah, um, by the way, my opinion on it, I think it's pretty good. It tastes really sweet, but I think that's okay sometimes oh my god it's like electric have you guys seen the color of this no, no i didn't put no. it out holy cow guys look at the color of it uh, oh. oh it's shit. blue it everywhere but man that is blue that, i don't no, have anything to pour it into it so i tried to pour it out of the back of my hand and it just went everywhere what did you think was gonna happen i thought i was gonna be able to catch it a little bit i made my hand into like a little shot glassy thing it just tastes like apple juice oh. wow that is like you weren't kidding that is like ocean blue. Oh, it do kind yeah, of taste like, like that. I went to take a drink of it and like the light caught it because there's like a lot above my head. And mm. I was like, holy blue. Oh, you know what color it reminds oh. me of, Dan? Is that fish bowl that Michelle made us that one oh, time? Oh, it does. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. Sorry, I leaned away to grab a paper towel because I oh, also spilled it. Uh, <laughs> Dumbass, what do you think was going <laughs> to <laughs> The difference is I tried to pour it into a bottle and not directly into my hand because I'm not a fucking idiot. You idiots! I just poured it on my desk and then sipped it. Up. See, <laughs> I just poured it on my desk and laughed at it like a dog. To me. I, I love the state of the podcast where like <laughs> no one's like, ah, I poured it in my hand. What a dumbass! Dan's like, you idiot! I poured it in a bottle and missed. I'm like, I put it on my desk <laughs> and then I sucked it off the desk. <laughs> that is, I mean, to be fair, that is basically <laughs> us in a nutshell. Um, yes, it does look like a, it does look like a fish roll. That is very accurate. I don't know. It's it's tasty. I have another one in my fridge. I'm sure I'm gonna drink it um thanks Noah. but i'm not i'm not i don't know it's fine I, I will drink the other one i have i will probably not buy another i'm not gonna do another one just because i like have self-respect tr really trying not to drink energy drinks anymore because i don't like how they make me feel energized uh, awake no, no no um monster has actually like i've noticed that when i drink monster my throat kind of closes up a little bit oh you, so, uh, you do you have a um do you have an aspartame thing? Probably. Wait, is there aspartame in Monster? Probably. Mon I, I would assume. That might be why I hate Monster. Um, There definitely Mon is in the ones that I drink. Mon yeah, in, huh. the, in the rehab, there definitely is. Yeah, 100%. That's why I hate those. Yeah. I never looked at the ingredients. I just thought they tasted bad. Huh. Yeah. No, if Yeah. Michelle also, I think I've talked about it. Michelle also has an aspartame thing. I, it makes, get it, it's unfortunate because we're both like, we would rather drink diet soda if we can. And no. she just can't. Oh, hard no. No, I hate just diet soda. Can't. I would just I drink water. Honestly, though, take. we you know, what we did know. we so I've talked many times about how I am not a fan of coffee, just do not like it in general. And yet Michelle and I have decided had decided this past week that we needed a coffee maker because we had thought that we were going to have people over and then everything went to shit or more to shit. Everything continued going downhill, whatever. Uh, and so we were like, we should get a coffee maker, you know, be a good host. And mm -hmm. damn it, I've had I've had like three cups of coffee out of the damn thing. Granted, I fill it like my entire my glass is like twenty percent Cinnabon creamer, but you know what? So you no, you have not had a single you have not had a single <laughs> cup of coffee. Then what did You're you right. say eighty percent creamer or twenty percent twenty percent creamer? Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Although no, I do in, like in the idea mind, that I you're put... doing like an espresso shot and then a full. <laughs> 12 ounces of creamer and i'm like dan that's just drinking creamer you're just drinking you know, there are people that like come into my work pretty frequently and will literally drink like 60 to 70 percent cream i in their coffee when Which, I, first of all like don't come in here and get a coffee that's like two bucks and then make me give you a like two quarts of cream because it's a refillable cup like come on are you for real when i was i can't working... tell you no because you're allowed to do that but like you have to know that you're drinking like 
mm-hmm. five quarts of cream definitely cost me more than two dollars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, the coffee just on a health health front that's just not good for you well i keep forgetting because i drink it in the morning before i'm like fully awake i keep forgetting that i am not able to have have milk and so (laughs) how do you just forget that dude i because i i don't know dude i want things that taste like cinnabon and i drink the things that taste like cinnabon and then i uh realize that i've made a mistake so isn't the cinnabon creamer like a non-dairy creamer uh the one that i have is not i'm pretty confident because uh well let me phrase that my stomach does not think it is. So my stomach has been actively killing itself every single morning lately because I am a fool. I'm you sorry. Sure not putting creamer in your coffee. Who the hell is Dick Rod? And why is everyone on Twitter <laughs> talking about him? I don't know. What a great name. That's probably that's why. A, that's He's definitely e- what it is. Is he, is he <laughs> the Eagles? I think he is. Is this another classic football name? How is it? That yeah, the, it is. Please it's tell me that player. that's not true. Yeah, no. How is it that they had Big Dick Nick and Dick Rod? Welcome back for a fourth time, Dick Rod. Yeah, that was back in that was back in September. That's old news. Mm, no, no, he just had a really nice catch today. Oh. That's why everyone's talking about Dick Rod. I think a lot of people are just learning that his name is Dick Rod today. Good name. Valid. Wow, man. You know, there's there's a huge part of me that just wants to like hate the Eagles because of stuff like this, but then there's Wait, the other what? part it's of just, me. It's just a guy's that name. That is just like hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's the amazing. Eagles just have all the best dudes. Dude, Eagles, Eagles, uh, do be having good dudes. Except for, and if they if they're not good dudes, we get rid of them. That's I gotta be honest, wow. dude. That is actually the uh, that's the plan most football teams have. Thank um, you, Noah. I'm really glad you said that because I was about to say <laughs> if you just went along with what he said there, I was gonna lose it. <laughs> no, like that's just that's just how it be. I'm, that's yeah. it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Guys, I feel like neither of you, and maybe myself, have said literally anything, anything of substance. in the last 10 minutes of saying things. Yeah, no, I can Like, at this it. point, I feel like you guys have just been, I don't, like, I haven't been talking that much, but I feel like you guys are just like, yeah, hey, guys, football teams that have football players on them. I don't know. I just, I opened up Twitter, and in the What's Happening tab on the side, it's talking about how Georgia's going to recount, and then it just says, trending in Pennsylvania, did. Dick Rod. Yeah, it is. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I don't like that. I, I googled Dick Rod and my when you know how like when you Google something, it shows like images underneath it. Right. And uh, yeah. it started showing me thin, sharp knives. Like my Google image results for for Dick Rod are a uh, bunch of. I like that you Google image to get Dick Rod, though. Like you oh, were yeah. ready for that. No, I was ready. Yeah, I, three, I was ready to get little... a rod for, for a dick. But let's see. I have two knives, a fishing rod and then some stuff that we're not going to go into because we're on the podcast. No, the football player. He's my oh, fourth result. Really? Okay. Well, I, ooh, I have something else, but that's fine. On the main page, if I go to images, it's a different selection of items. Mm, okay, that's but. that's also fair. Yeah, on the main page, yeah, I have, yeah, what look like two. Actually, Noah, I'm gonna be honest. I just realized in in going through to the to the page, I don't think those are one of them. Is I think is a is a um like a knife sharpener. Maybe it looks like. Yeah. A honing rod. A honing rod. Oh, they're both honing rods. Ho- yeah, okay, they're both honing cool. rods. And um, yeah, two honing rods and a, a fishing, fishing rod. pole. Yeah, and dick rod. Yeah, and dick rod. And then if you go to images, yeah, it's something very different. Yeah, yeah. And that's anyway. Fine. That's fine, dude. We don't listen. We don't need to talk about dick rods. Please, please, let's talk about other things. I'm sorry, I was I was caught off guard by twitter but we don't need to stay here we can t- we can, we can go it. home so, i mean obviously there's other great football names like haha clinton dicks <laughs> really? was that a real name, Wait, I, thought that was a name. I thought that was one that uh key and peel made up no that's just my name oh when- oh my gosh that is his name no yeah the haha clinton dicks was not a fake one that's a real one. Oh, i love i see it was so hard for me to tell which ones were real and not because up until they the actually the yeah well, no, that's the thing. Up until they brought in like the actual players for like the second or third iteration where we got our, our good man DeBrickashaw Ferguson. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, I love his name. Um, I didn't realize who was who was Clinton Dix. I mean, I think that's the point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you, you you cannot make up a better name than Haha Clinton. No, Dix. you couldn't. He has a, I'm just like looking at his face and he looks like a man who's just like, Are you really gonna laugh at my name again right now? Yeah. He, he you can tell this man has been putting up with it his entire life. I mean, of course. I love like, this. You know, I I feel bad for this guy. He doesn't deserve this. For Ha Ha Clinton Dix? It's not his money. fault. He's doing all right. But also, imagine, imagine just... Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Yeah, exactly. 
you can't address him without laughing. Yeah, exactly. Like it's it's really it's the the ultimate curse. And like to be to his credit, like you know he didn't he 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 took the name his mama gave him. He didn't ch- try to change it or anything. And he went all the way to the top. Good on him, dude. I wish I wish. Good on him. I was I was that uh, confident in the name Ha Ha Clinton Dix. I feel like it's less the confidence in the name and more that he's actually like good at football. No, there is that. He made five million dollars this year. That's not as much as me, but it's a good bit, I guess. <laughs> it's something, I guess. <laughs> and I hope he's okay. I mean, that's kind of a cut, but you know. It just reminds me of the one Simpsons bit where they quote, um, they quote this like massive payment that Homer's going to owe someone in hospital bills, and he's like, Psh, "I make that in a year." <laughs> It's one, of, it's one of my favorite jokes. It's very good. I'm not going to lie to you. That's because Homer Simpson actually makes a lot of money. But he, he drinks it all away on <laughs> Duff beer. Well, I mean, that is that. Yeah, that is 100 percent accurate. That he works is, in it as an engineer in a nuclear power plant. Like it is also confirmed that he doesn't have any sort of degree or knowledge of how to work in that plant, though. Well, so, like they still pay him. But he, he's got a lot of heart. He does have a lot of heart. And he's got a lot of bark. I wish I had a heart. <laughs> You're really about to let Jackson say that and just try and go all sad mode like, I wish I had a heart while he's over here like, he's got a whole lot of Bart. Yeah, that is. Yes, that is exactly what was going to go happen until you called me out on it. (laughs) What's with these homies? He has like, we. I don't. I shut it down. Holy shit. How has it only been 18 minutes? I've been here for six years. (laughs) Speaking of Marcus, my guys, what's happening? I was watching a TikTok the other day that was like telling you what? how to do your best ACDC impersonation. Okay. He's just like, you know, to, to do the singing, you just do your best Marge Simpson and let, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's very good. I don't know how it goes, but you know, I don't know the words to any ACDC songs. You just sing about cars and driving fast and living reckless. Homer, I like cars. My Marge Simpson's not that good, you know. Oh, uh, you know what? I've heard worse. Thank you. You know, and you you put it you put yourself out there, and that should be commended. What's with these homies? That's the best one still. Um, you guys got any impressions? I got I, I can do Shaggy from Scooby Doo still. Nice. Yeah, the only uh the only impression I do that's any good is my golem, but I'm not gonna do that because I have been asked many a time not to, so I will not. Also, Appreciate it. Also because I don't know, feels feels very up my own ass about it. You know what we should talk about? You know what we should talk about? Speaking of impressions, fucking Animaniacs yeah. came back this week, got? you guys. And I the- did any of you did either of you watch it as a kid, like growing up? I'm so um no. vaguely. Nope. Never have consumed a single bit of Animaniacs yes, content. You in my a life, homeschooler. Actually. What? What? Really? Wait, no. That, was that? I thought I said that was sarcasm. Was this not sarcasm? No. No. I was, I was, I, I was answering you honestly. Wow. I'm sorry. You asked a question, and I said Wait, no. But- I've never consumed any of their content before because I wanted you to know I'm coming from a oh, place I of apologize. zero. I, the way you said it, it sounded a little bit. Animaniacs a homeschool it, thing. But said you were an ass. No. To be fair, it sounded. You could have a, a very slight difference in inflection, and it and it would have been very easy to assume that it was fucking sarcasm. I was I was saying my serious. I voice. apologize. <laughs> Yesterday, one of my coworkers, uh, they was they made a milkshake, and there's a little bit of milkshake left in the thing. And I was like, "Hey, do you want this milkshake?" And she was like, "No." And I was like, "All right, I'm tossing it." And then like I washed the container out, and then she was like, "Did you throw away that milkshake?" And I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Well, I wanted it." And I was like, "You expressly told me no." <laughs> like you, there's a you difference were like, between no and no. No. No means no. No, that just means no. No, I don't want that. Yeah, and she was like, well, it wasn't like a no, no. It was like a, you know, no. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, I was like, what are you sa- what Amazing. are you talking about? <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, that's the moral of the story. That just happened here. Also, why is Animaniacs a homeschool thing? I, I associate it very heavily with the, it's one of those, okay, so I associate it in the same vein as quite a number of other uh, shows that a lot of my homeschooler friends watched or watched pieces of um, because of their, like, just because of the way that they the shows were and the way that the parents of those kids were, a lot of people who I did watch it watched like Bible Man, Veggie Tales, and like anything on PBS. Yeah, and for me, also, how dare you call me? And out. in my it, from my experience until this moment, <laughs> I <laughs> I was under the impression that a lot of them also watched Animaniacs, and I apologize that that wasn't the case. But Animaniacs was like a cable network thing. That I mean, sure. But like YouTube was a thing when I was growing up. Still, so I don't know. I, that's where I watched all of it. Um, so I apologize. Jackson, you said you have seen a little bit, right? I don't know, when I was a kid. I was never huge into it, but I, I, I think it's super valid. 
I watched a ton of it growing up and uh, didn't d- did not ever expect to see it again because it stopped airing. I think literally it stopped airing the year I was born. Let me look. Mm-hmm. Wow. A long time ago. Yeah, dude. I'm very old. Yeah, no, sorry. 95 it ended. So a year before I was born, it, ended, it finished. Um, but I I watched a ton of it um, and it being back now, it's they may. It is very hard with a reboot, especially one based on a lot, a lot of satire. Uh, It's very hard to take a cartoon that's based so heavily on satire that is ostensibly a kid show, but like like many really good cartoons really isn't. And the satire doesn't make sense to kids. So is it really a kid show? Um, And bring that into a, a, a try manage to bring that back in such a way that it actually feels both true to the original and still like like it isn't just. They aren't just doing nothing but 80s and early 90s references. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I've been enjoying it. I- Yakko using like a cane to pull like, I don't know, like Trump out of the White House and be like, and he doesn't even go there. That was why don't you march Simpson? <laughs> but like, you know how he sounds like he's got like yeah, a he voice. The voice. He's like, he does, ah, he got the way he does a thing. And a maniac. Baloney and all that. You know, well, I mean, and that and they they. uh yeah, I mean, they did a really good job of of like making it somewhat topical. Uh, the show was they they even have a joke in the first episode where they they rewrote they wrote this season in 2018, right? Um, and here we are in 2020, two years later. It took it took a hot minute for it to come out because that's how fucking television works. And so they even say, "Oh, how are we going to possibly you know keep up with these with all the with the modern trends if we can't even you know guarantee that we'll be relevant again in two years?" But they they do. They managed to do a really good job of it, and some of it is like a like oh the the climate hasn't changed that much in two years even though it feels like it has and some of it is there are there are still people that are cultural icons enough that you can just make fun of them and it's fine kind of thing but i'm enjoying it a lot it it, it very much feels like the original in a way that i didn't expect and i i fell right back in love with it also pinky and the brain are back and i enjoy that immensely pinky and the brain are my favorite because of course they are are they directly connected to Animaniacs? Because yeah. I saw Pinky and the Brain content come out with Animaniacs, yes. but I actually have no. Yeah, they, they were like a. They were kind of like a little like spinoff in the yeah. show. Like there'd be like a little skit to it. It would be like, I'm now out of Pinky and yeah, the Brain. Exactly. And it'd be like. Uh, them, um, okay. Buttons Brain. and Mindy, I think, was in that same category. The Good Gotta Feathers. I'm trying to think, is there any other ones that were mime time? Good idea, bad idea. I'm trying to think, were there any other weird segments that like were part of Animaniacs, but not actually the the trio those are the ones i can think of that i'm at pinky and the brain content is great they have a new intro for both pinky and the brain and for animaniacs as a whole mm-hmm. and both are mm-hmm. phenomenal mm-hmm. 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 nice mm-hmm. uh yeah i don't know I- honestly i would be angry at them if they tried to just make it um or if they did not do that because let's be real here that's just kind of weird if you're rebooting a show and then you're like and i didn't change the intro at all like you can try and play on those like nostalgia points but it's just gonna feel weird because you can't use the original intro you'd have to recreate it mm-hmm. and it would look painfully like a recreated intro that, that was actually the other thing they, they make a little joke about it in like the very first episode but like they it, the animation has taken such a massive step up because obviously it's not what it's not hand animated it, anymore it, it, so they have different standards that they can adhere exactly to. although i think the background might still i mean there's probably still like they're digitally drawn, but they're they're definitely still drawn mm-hmm. rather than like just uh, what's the word, whatever the other. I don't know. I, I'm blanking on words. But um, so OSHA, yeah, 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 sure. They they're drawn. Is that say right? OSHA. I was just saying a word I knew. <laughs> did you just say OSHA? No, he said cell shaded. No, I said cell shaded. How did you even get oh, OSHA? I thought you said OSHA because cell shaded and OSHA sound the same when the mic half cuts out when I'm hearing mm-hmm. it. Are you sure it's not just you're bad at listening? Have you considered this, Noah? Uh, no. No, I okay. haven't. Well, you, well, you, have, you should consider it. It's because he's not listening to us, yeah. so he doesn't consider that he might not be good at listening. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's really good. That, that's, <laughs> I don't even know what you asked me. That's my whole thing. I don't want to like be like, oh, let me break down what happens in each episode because that's boring. But like, I, it's really good. And like, if if even if you didn't watch the original, I actually think it would probably hold up reasonably well. Um, like if I went back and watched the original no. or if I just tried to watch this show? I think if you watch the original, the original do hold up except for the ref- some of the, re- oh, a lot of the references and like direct satire of people is, uh, is faded because it was in like the 80s and 90s. So like, or 70s, 80s, 90s, I think. 80s, 90s? I don't think it was in the 70s. No, no, it wasn't. It was late 80s, early 90s. Uh, so of course their references are super dated, but I think that the humor of the original actually still holds up pretty fucking well, in my opinion. Um, and then the new one, like I said, I, it's just this, it's a revamped, not even a reimagining per se, just a like, Hey, you did it. You, you, we made the same thing. 
or the same kind of content just brought to a new era, which is good. I, that's exactly what I was hoping the show would be. And they did a good job with it. And I'm, it makes me happy. That's all. It made me very happy to see one of my favorite childhood shows come back. That said, if I, I, I am also in the in the firmly in the well i've got ducktales i had my little samurai jack came back and they had their they had their clone wars final season like that's okay you can be done with the remakes and like the doing the final seasons now that's fine it's we've gotten a lot of the good ones out of the way please don't go back and try and remake fucking i don't know kids next door or something Mm -hmm. like i'm good um i just don't like i don't know that i've I've, like i don't know that anything i anything i really liked as a kid like I remember, like I don't really remember liking any shows mm-hmm. in particular. And then, like I don't know, I'm just so I'm such a bitter old man that like when I see a re- reboot, I'm like I don't care. No, that, I think that's super valid though. Like there, there's a validity to I don't. Mm-hmm. I would rather see new ideas happen, and I'm tired of seeing the same old idea be repeated. Like that's. I'm just sick of ideas. <laughs> ideas are fake. <laughs> so <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> what? Why people be like people? People come up and they be like. <clears throat> think oh come on man not again <laughs> i've been doing that for a while me want only look at rain watch rain throw a rock you know okay I yes no move. same vote like i uh, i don't know i like ideas i am just <laughs> sick of things being products i'm like i said i'm just a bitter old man and i i can't not get mad whenever i see an at&t ad that's like Watch HBO Max, please, please, I'm begging you. Please, <laughs> if you don't watch HBO Max, I'm going to cry. And you're like, okay, that's weird. I'm going to switch the channel. And it's like, please, I if, if you don't watch HBO Max right now, I'm going to lose my shit. And you're like, oh, okay, can I, can, I just, can I just exist? Can I just watch like Tetris on YouTube? Why do I have to, why do I have to be subject to brands telling me what to do? Brands do, do need to calm down. Brands do need to calm down. I just want to watch people play Tetris. I don't want to, I don't want to know about at and or... Old Spice. Can I, can I just be... Can I just not have ads? Leave me alone. I, mean, I don't know. Probably not. I think we're, pro- we're probably stuck with ads forever because that's the world we live in now. I suppose so, yeah. I don't think there's any escaping it. What's your favorite ad? <laughs> oh, God. I don't have a favorite, but I have a least favorite right now, and it's that stupid Xbox ad. Which one? Is this stupid Xbox? How's For the Series X, all of them are awful because they all have the oh, same man. music of... Okay, okay, I like that song. That's the congratulations. Congratulations, glad you like it. I am so sick of that ad because that's the only ad I've been getting. Hmm. I've been getting like that ad, a Spanish ad for Spectrum, and a couple other like (laughs) random things here and there, right? But like for the most part, I just keep getting that stupid selection of Xbox ads, and I'm so done with it. Um, Like I wasn't planning on buying an Xbox, but you better believe I'm not now. You know, I kind of want to buy. A PS5. I really want a PS5. I do want to buy a PS5. I, but not for like I don't know ever. Probably steal one from a governor. Yeah, or I'll, I, I go. literally only want it for Spider Man, which I can't justify getting a PS5 just to play one and a half games because one game that I've actually complete, I've already completed like two completion almost twice now, and I would have to complete a third time, and one that mm-hmm. is the same game but newer which game yeah, is that's about miles idea. that you didn't clarify it so i've okay. i finished the original spider-man almost com- to completion twice uh one time was almost okay. uh, was like 98 percent. i had one thing left to do and then i lost access to that file and the other i am in the middle or three quarters of the way through now and i just haven't gotten around to like finishing it up because i'm lazy. okay i mean i've heard nothing but great things about oh, the miles so one good. i've heard i mm, I, a lot of my friends who stream are playing it a lot and I don't want to watch them because I want to actually be able to play it someday. Dude, right. I don't know. I'm excited for the new God of War. New God of War is, does look uh, sick. I am in the process of playing the old new God of War. I uh, never played any of the original trilogy, right? Mm-hmm. Zero knowledge of that. Um, and then when Jackson was kind enough to lend us his uh, PlayStation, I'm like, okay, cool. Games. And Nina's like, I'm buying God of War. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And I watched her play through most all of the game. And I'm like, okay, this game looks hot. I like this. And uh, spoiler alert, it is hot. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Almost, I'm probably about halfway through it myself now. And it's just really good. And it's not too long. I think that's the nicest thing about it is like sometimes story games get a little too up their own ass about what they can do. Yeah. And because like, you know, you have you have the issue of like Red Dead, right? If you're just playing the story missions, you can finish that game probably in like 40 hours, yeah. maybe 60 hours. Which is still a if long you're time. Just, just, just hitting saying. the story. Very long, very long game. Uh, with other stuff, 
it fills in really heavily to like over 100 hours. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with that, personally. Yeah. But that's because I like that game. Yes. Other games, um, Skyrim being the alternate example that we talked about <laughs> uh, right up against it, mm -hmm. you can finish that thing's campaign quite quickly. But you People will... did that? Huh? People actually played Skyrim? We've, I know, right? We've talked about this multiple times <laughs> that I enjoy the game. So but like, there's so much side content that you can just get dead lost in. Mm -hmm. And I really like having an on-rails story. Yeah. Where there's there's like some side stuff in God of War, right? But mm -hmm. there's not a lot. And I've really, really enjoyed just like, oh, hey, here's the game. You just go through it. You just do it. You just play it. And I like JRPGs because they do that, but then they're like 140 yeah. hours, so I never finish any of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, all you can do is just play through the game. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't go back and grind? <laughs> Fool. Yeah, I I own God of War and never went through it. And I own Last of Us and I never went through it. And like Last of Us, I, I almost don't care about anymore because i know what the, i get i get i get the game it's fine and like mm -hmm. i don't know how much the experience is going to mean anything to me especially because everyone and their kid brother was like last of us is like the best game ever you gotta play it what the fuck why haven't you played it yet um i had two co-workers at the same job who both had independent of one another a last of us tattoo <laughs> i stand by my statement uh i was like what what why, why? yeah no for real <clears throat> not not you but why them like why what yeah I mean, I guess video game. I mean, give a video game. And uh, God of War, which I just haven't played through yet. Like, I, I also kind of know a bit of that story, how that story plays out. But, like, I just haven't sat down and playing it. Because part of it is, like, because I'm a PC gamer, first first and foremost. If Thank you for your service. <laughs> thank Yes, please. Uh, <laughs> lost my leg in the console war. Um, Ow. Landmine. Uh, fucking Cringe. got. Um, but, like, I can't play. I can't be on discord chatting with my friends and hanging out and playing the ps4 because playing a pure story driven exactly game. Mm -hmm. yeah i also hate like <clears throat> like i, I like playing games on the ps4 but none of my friends have consoles mm. because they're not like pc master race people but they're just like i don't have a yeah. console and mm -hmm. they're all like really poor so they don't they're not buying yeah. one because all my friends refuse to work <laughs> Um, it's cool. It's great. I don't hate it at all. I um, but anyway, isn't that isn't that just isn't that the end goal of of socialism? I don't understand. Shouldn't none of us work? I mean, ideally, yeah. Yeah, dude. That, <laughs> love that. Like you're telling me you could automate. Yeah, dude. If you can just automate it, and I can just sit around and work? fucking make art all day. That would be fucking hot. Are you kidding me? We could be. We could live in a post scarcity society, but we're not ready for that yet. Quite literally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, oh, none of my friends have jobs and consoles, and I don't like the party system anyway. No, I mean, fair. <laughs> like, I think, yeah, I think, like, little, like, like even having, a, like, a tab, like, a Discord tab available for, like, PS4 and Xbox One would be, like, wonderful compared mm -hmm, to what they have. Because, mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, the party system is just, like, janky yeah. mm -hmm. if you're not, if you're not super used to it. See, I'm a, I don't mind playing games and hanging out with people, but if, especially if it's a first time through anything, I would not want to play any sort of game that has a plot at all because i like listening to it so i usually if i'm gonna play a game i'm just gonna sit here and play my game and mind my business i um go ahead sorry i didn't mean to cut you off no and that's that's pretty much it like all the games i play are story driven and until i'm playing through it a second time or something like that i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna be like well i want to pay attention to my game so uh i guess i'm just gonna do that and then instead i just sit here and i watch youtube freaking video essays that i can pause while I'm out here scrounging for treasure in Red Dead and going on hunting trips in Red Dead mm -hmm. and, I don't know, other things in Red Dead. Mm -hmm. That's the only game I'm playing right now outside of God of War, so. I I get that. I find it really, because I, I don't know if it's just my personality, I don't know what it is, I find it really hard to just sit and play a story-driven game without anything else going on. And I don't like video essays because I get much more distracted by video essays than I do just being in a chat with somebody. Mm -hmm. Like personally, I I used to, I tried to watch video essays at one point. Um, it's actually it's why I don't really watch video essays anymore. But I miss because I'm paying more attention to the video essay than what's actually going on in the game. And yes, obviously, just pause it. Whatever. Um, it's a lot harder for me to for me to get it together. Something I have started doing with uh, specifically with Kenzie, um, known not known friend of the unknown friend of the podcast, Kenzie. Uh, oh no! So Kenzie is like, we'll play, we'll be playing games, and we'll just be like streaming it just within Discord to each other, or me, myself, Zam, whatever. A handful of people will just be streaming it with just within Discord to each other, because then you kind of are watching it all together. Like you're, it's not quite as impersonal as like doing a stream, and you're not doing it for content. You're doing it so that you're Zam Kenzie. Uh, sorry. Uh, 
Kent. Why did you answer that out loud? I don't care because did... she doesn't <laughs> listen to the podcast. Fuck it. Um, that, what? Not Kesney. Sorry. You know who else doesn't listen to the podcast? Suzuki <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Fuck him. Fuck that guy, am I right? Um, yeah. But all my homies hate Suzuki Joe. <laughs> my point. My point is, it gives that. It gives that little bit of social aspect, and it's almost. It's almost akin to, I don't know if you guys ever did this when you were kids, but I know I did because I was a shitty kid who cared more about my friends' consoles than their intention. Uh, but like playing a, a story game along like GTA or something at a friend's house and just playing it as a single player game. Um, mm-hmm. It kind of has that feel where you guys are playing the game, air quotes, playing the game together, but not. But it's better through PC because I can be playing, for example, Red Dead. And Kenzie can be playing Beyond Two Souls, and we can both be experiencing bits and pieces of what the other person's doing without having to like fully devote an entire hour, or three hours, or ten hours, or hundred hours to a game. It's it's a it's a thing that I I've only started in like probably the last like three or four months, but it it's been nice. It's been a, it's been getting me through a lot of um not a lot of but a couple of single player games. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's a neat it's a it's, it's nice. The point is single player games. Great. Single player games by myself with nothing else going on in the background. Difficult. I have the same problem with movies these days, too. My attention span is so short. I'm a big uh, 90 Day Fiance fan, so I like to put that on the background and just do like some some games. Because like 90 Day Fiance is such a yeah, non-show. Yeah. You know? It's like it's almost like putting on like Great British Bake Off or something in the background. Yeah, it's just like it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but and whenever you're tuned in, you're like, oh, but like, then you can tune right back out. Yeah, you look over to the screen, you're like, she did what? Yeah. But then you're like, OK, I'm going to keep playing this game because it doesn't mm-hmm. like I don't really care but like you know whenever i feel like caring you can i think that's a really good game like show choice too because there are a lot of shows that are just oh, I love 90 Day Fiance. mindless and you can just put them on and i think that's it. i would heavily recommend 90 day fiance we should have a 90 day, we should switch to being a 90 day fiance podcast okay. i'd have to I watch worse ideas <laughs> it's the worst idea of becoming a soda podcast noah is that is that where that was going yeah the soda <laughs> podcast is a way yeah, worse it's a idea, dumb idea. <laughs> <laughs> on the next episode of off the air how many times can we talk about becoming a blank <laughs> podcast <laughs> <laughs> on our whatever this is podcast you know what the answer really... may surprise you it's more See, than once here's the podcast that we could become that would actually okay, work so it's for at least us. Once mm-hmm. twice. we yeah, get a big it. spinning wheel of bad ideas and at the beginning of the podcast we just spin this big ticker wheel and whatever okay. it lands on we have to talk about it can't okay. be worse than the system we're running right now so how do we where do we source the ideas from do we just like come up with them do we just like have a brainstorming day and then like put them on like slot them into a chart yeah probably we could also i mean the community also can give ideas but we would have to be very careful with that because yeah obviously i don't know what kind of community you think we have but it's not they aren't that bad i just like the idea of like a spinning wheel i don't hate the spinning wheel idea i'll be honest i actually don't hate that like i love it yeah there are virtual spinning wheels i can pull from like a spreadsheet to do like a wheel of fortune absolutely no virtual wheel it has to be a physical wheel that i can touch with my hand and make go tick to tick to tick i i want to i want to yeet them i want to send that boy spinning confirmation do we all get separate wheels and we all have separate topics that we bring in because of it no 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 no. only i get the wheel oh what the fuck that's kind of fuck dude well i mean if you want to build your own wheel, it has to be a physical wheel that you can take a picture of and prove to us. Because otherwise, I, don't, I, can, I won't believe I you. Just buy a wheel. You know, those big wheels are like five bucks, right? No, you need Wait, to get really? a big one. You need to get one of the like thirty dollar wheels. It's like three feet they're, across. They're, they're only like it's only like thirty bucks. Yeah, There's dude, no they're way. cheap. They're like so a cheap. big old wheel. The, like cheap. not the ones that are what? like the size of a person. Those are pretty expensive. But like here, let me look. Amazon. I've been no, living my whole life. We need something. What do you call that? Thinking I was too poor to have a spinning wheel. Carnival wheel. Carnival wheel. Mystery wheel spinner. Amazon. What do we got? Fucking thirty eight ninety five for a twelve inch one. That's not that's huge. Not that big. I, Twenty-four I've been inches my at four, life forty-five I was... dollars, which is that's big enough to be on a tripod. I think that's 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 getting up there. Let's see, how big can we get it? I want a three-foot one. It turns out I've looked up a loom. Everybody, I've looked up a loom. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-six inch big mystery wheel. What do we wheel. got? Uh, this loom is six inch this prize wheel. wheel is two one thousand two hundred dollars. Thirty-six inch prize. This wheel. mahogany one's only eight fifty-nine. Uh, mm. Thirty-six inch one. This this one just went up. It went from. Okay, so my 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 thing right now is twelve inch, thirty eight ninety five. Twelve inch with chalk, uh, thirty nine ninety nine. Thirty six inch, two hundred and ninety seven dollars and twenty three cents. See, that's why we can't buy one of these. They're just so However, expensive. And I have will I been not, living my whole life thinking will I was not settle for anything. We, no, don't we have don't we have a Patreon that people can donate to that they could get us to get a wheel? Can that be one of our goals? Okay, firstly, firstly. 
Yes. However, much more importantly, I would feel so awful if I used any of our Patreon money to buy a gimmick wheel that we would use like 10 times and then never use it. What do you think they give us money for? Useful things. Like... I don't know, special merch offer or something like that. We've, we've had vague plans. We just haven't had time to plan them out yet because it's holiday season. It's been holiday season for two and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, before it was like, ah, we're making money to cover the website. That's great. And now it's, ah, we want to do a nice thing for our fans. But COVID's here and we're trying to figure out how to manage and juggle other things. <laughs> I, for one... Uh, recently made the decision to not hang out with my family on Thanksgiving. This is not me trying to like stir pity or anything. It just like came it is, to my mind because fine. this episode comes out on Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, um, you guys, what are we, are we, can we do a what are we thankful for? I know it's classic, but I'm good with a what are we thankful for? What are we thankful for on Thanksgiving? Um, on the Thanksgiving that we can't go vi- be with people that we you know actually care about. Um, I'm thankful to be hosting uh, digital uh gritmas i'm gonna do gritmas west over here you uh, anyone who wants to hang out in west side Gritmas. you understand that digital <laughs> that regular gritmas was canceled and that we are actively trying to get together in digital gritmas right oh yeah, we're shoot. doing digital no, gritmas west mind. no uh my real thing i'm gr- uh grateful <laughs> what i'm grateful for, for. <laughs> what i'm grateful for i actually no, i'm uh, i'm grateful for uh my new apartment though i absolutely love this place mm-hmm. this is um i'm not i am not exaggerating uh, when I say this place borderline feels like a dream come true, I love this place so much. Aww. It has so much space, and I'm very much looking forward to like decorating up with my own stuff. That's always nice. I it's just nice. Are you? Ugh, we'll come back to that. I want to come back to that real quick. But Jackson, what are you thankful <laughs> for? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Red Bull Winter Edition, of course. <laughs> Whoa, nice, Winks nice. at camera. <laughs> Well, I'm thankful for AudibleTrial.com. Um, anyway, <laughs> wouldn't that be a good? That would be a good one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say I'm not thankful for much, but I just... it's fine. You don't have to. Have, we did kind yeah. of put you on the spot. No. It's okay. Uh, I mean, I it's gonna be fucking cheesy as shit. Fucking, but Michelle and I, Michelle has really fucking stepped the hell up. Like a like because I've been kind of a garbage person the past like two weeks, uh, for a lot of reasons. Well, most of it being sixty hour work weeks. But Michelle, fuck it. I'm very thankful for Michelle because she has been doing so much work with like she's been she's fucking the dog has been so good the, the last couple of days, you guys. I can't even tell you. And it I'm literally putting it all. It's all Michelle. And I'm very thankful for her because she is great and uh, way nicer than I deserve. And that's as, that's the nicest thing I'll say on this podcast for a long time. I'm also I'm, I'm, I'm also thankful that it was packaged in a little bit of self-loathing, but still it was kind of nice. That's as good Yay. as it gets, dude. Better than usual. <laughs> Packaged in a little bit of self-loathing, but still kind of nice is my entire my entire life. But yeah, uh, do be like that. I want to circle back. Noah, are you doing decorations for Thanksgiving slash Christmas this year? Why would I decorate for Thanksgiving? I don't know. I know a lot of people do. Yeah, also, why do you say Thanksgiving slash Christmas? Like, oh yeah, you know, I put up my Thanksgiving decorations. They transition seamlessly into them Christmas decorations. Well, they do if you do it right. Come on. Why is he a New Yorker? Why is yeah, no. Right? Um, uh, we might put up some stuff for Christmas, but right now our main focus is unpacking. What we've affectionately, what we, oh my gosh, what we have decided to affectionately call the garbage room. Mm. Um, it is the middle room of the apartment. Uh, there, there's like two living rooms. There's like two small living rooms and then everything else, right? Yeah. So the one living room is the living room and the other one is where we put all the stuff when we were moving and all of the big cardboard garbage. And eventually it's going to get handled, but right now it's just called the garbage room and it's full of stuff that we need to unpack. So that that comes first, and then maybe a Christmas tree. That's the whole plan, though. No, that, I think that's super, that's super cool, though. Like, I, I don't know if I'm going to get to do anything for any decoration for Christmas because we have a dog now and it's hard to... Mm, it's, that would do it that would do we, it we saw i i was wondering why you were asking but now i realize it's because you probably can't yeah i I probably i mean I, I can do some stuff i think we might put up like a wreath or something and we might put like a little bit of like fucking garland or whatever across the loft we'll say a wreath lights that stay above the uh like around the top of the mm-hmm. room well we can't reach the top of most of our rooms <laughs> our ceilings are oh t- sorry big big uh, man with the big ceiling i've established that, that the living room has like a 20 foot ceiling here. Oh, yeah, because we have the loft, um, but we might put some stuff like that. along the railing of the loft. I might do something in the office if I can figure out what I want to actually do in here. Alexa, set lights to green and red <laughs> and play all I want for Christmas is you. I bet I can set oh. up something where it flicker, where it blinks, where they blink green and red, actually. Just be like, Alexa, Merry Christmas. And that's your voice command to have it go to that Christmas. That would be kind of cool. Hold on. 
I might actually do that. That might be kind of fun. Uh, You're welcome for the good ideas. Um, make your Android work for you. <laughs> make my robot work for me. And also Amazon. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I I never was into Christmas decorations like growing up. I kind of hated doing them. But now that it's like my own space and like my own life, I'm like, you know, maybe it might be nice to throw down like a little Christmas tree or something. Can't do anything mm -hmm. for Christmas. Michelle work like we I think we're I think Michelle works Christmas or she works a day after Christmas, something ridiculous. So like we can't really go anywhere or do anything. But I don't know. Christmas Christmas is a is a is a weird one. Didn't do anything for Halloween either for that matter, but that's also that's mostly because, you know, pandemic. Uh, it it'd be like it, it is. Oh, Christmas is on a Friday this year. I don't have to work the day did after you, Christmas. Did you guys see that post? Ooh, so deal. you guys know the, the gigantic 28 foot Home Depot skeleton, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you guys see the post yeah. of the somebody who was like, oh, there's no use for it afterwards. And someone else responded with a Christmas tree where the giant skeleton was putting the lights onto it. Oh, yeah. No, like pe people are making uh, people are making their use out of their three hundred dollar skeletons. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's going to be it's it, I I want one so bad, but also it's so stupid and like no, no good reason to have it beyond it would fit in our living room. Yeah, Nina and I have talked about having it just so we can put it in our backyard. Mm -hmm. But like, how would we get it here? There's no point in becoming that the only house on the street <laughs> to have a giant skeleton. There's, so what uh, you're telling me is rather than just got here, rather than <laughs> if you're a neighbor, rather anybody. than just having the one, you're going to get a whole like family of skeletons. Exactly. And we're going to drape them in black tarps so that it looks like they're wearing robes, mm -hmm. you know, classic skeleton stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll bury one in the backyard and then move and then people can find it in 20 years. That, can you imagine? I mean, it's plastic, so it'll probably sure. still be there. What is this giant plastic skeleton underground? That'd be so good. <laughs> Some truther blog will share pictures of it and be like, this is proof <laughs> the giants <laughs> I was gonna say proof of the Nephilim. <laughs> oh my god. I just, <sighs> like, I feel like we haven't quite gotten to the stage yet where, like, all the people were like, yeah, 20-foot skeleton are gonna be like, Oh shit! I gotta clean a twenty foot skeleton. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've actually wondered like, about that. It can only go so long before it gets like green. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with a a moss covered skeleton or an yeah, algae covered either. skeleton mm -hmm. or just a. Yeah, this isn't Dark Souls. I don't want to deal with one of those. Flip side, I still do want a twenty foot skeleton. So uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, Home Depot, reach out to us. Sponsor us with a twenty foot skeleton. Come on. Balls Again, I reiterate, you can't just be like sponsor. Give me things, and it fuck the rest of the hosts. I want him to give all of us a skeleton, dude. You were talking about how you want really one want in your living yeah, room. Yeah, but you didn't say that. You said, give me a skeleton. Jackson doesn't want one, so I'll take his skeleton. You'll, you'll, we'll, have, two we'll still... you'll have two 20-foot skeletons. Exactly. All the better to spook you with? I don't know. Scare you with, yeah. There we go. We got we got plans here. Yeah, no, we got plans. Great. Yeah, we got plans. <laughs> yeah, we got plans here. I'm going to get a skeleton from Home Depot as a sponsor deal for the podcast, and I'm not going to give one of the hosts that aren't me. Just me. We got plans, everybody. Keep your eye out, folks, for off the air takes Home Depot. Can we take Home Depot? I think Home Depot has a lot more money than us. Well, like we just like take from. Oh, Home Depot. okay. How <laughs> no, quickly? Like, how words, quickly stealing. do you think we would get flagged on something if we had a podcast about stealing things from Home Depot? Uh, immediately, because we probably do something stupid like actually name it anything to do with what we're doing. Mm. Also, there's no way I'm going to leave a paper trail of what I'm well, stealing. From I was going to ask. That's just. I, was gonna ask, Depot, like, I took a washing people, machine. You know, we've, we've talked about the the hypothetical marriage of Juana's before. And I'm wondering, like, at what point does that not cover Have we? you? Have we? We, we've never talked about the outside of my massive baby Yoda bong, which is not a mm. hypothetical. That is real. That's and it's real. right next yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. Maybe uh, it was just on stream. Away, it was on stream. To be. It wasn't on the podcast. I just like. I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things where you could be like, yeah, I stole a washing machine from Home Depot. And they would be like, don't do yeah. that. But like, they're not going to open like an investigation. Like the statute of limitations is so low. And like, what did you do with it? Do you still have How it? Long, what is, it? is, what is the statute of limitations like, on stealing, like on like petty shoplifting? Probably next to nothing. Like a week, probably. Oh, it's it like, oh, you stole that a week ago. What, what do you expect us to do about that? Huh? Come back when he steals something this week. Yeah, shoplifting took a from Home Depot last okay. week. Okay, shoplifting of Kill goods him. valued at under two hundred dollars is a disorderly person's offense. So the statute of limitations is one year from discovering of the offense. Shoplifting goods oh, valued one year from the discovery. Mm -hmm. Shoplifting goods valued at more than two hundred dollars is an indictable offense, a felony, and as such, the statute of limitations is five years. So, like, that's that's actually not. I do want to say you said you did say indictable. That's what I N D I C T A B L E. Indictable. Indict. Indict. Is it indict? I thought indict was pronounced something else. Yeah, I don't know. I thought so. 
I don't know. You said indictable, and I'm like, that doesn't sound it is, right it to is me. But it's not right. I'm sorry. Indictable. Me, but indictable is definitely You're absolutely correct. I, for some reason, I thought indictable pronounced something to, was spelled totally different because I'm a fool. No, that's fair. I also would probably have made that mistake. I did call paella paella <laughs> because I was just on autopilot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Never forget. So, you know. No, remember that time when you were supposed to read like that block of text in Spanish? Yeah, I remember that. Wild. Remember when we actually kept up with our uh, shout outs for everybody that I just, boy, howdy, I messed up November and didn't reach out to a single person outside of high messaging me saying, hey, well, drink the winter edition Red Bull. Um, oof. Wow, that's my great my bad, y'all. I can't believe no. Yeah, I can't believe Noah messed up this badly. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm so ready to throw him under the bus. Noah. Noah, have you have you finished? I think you should leave. Uh, no, I have not. I watched okay. another. I, uh, I think I'm up to episode four right now. Okay, so you're almost done. Because mm-hmm. I didn't want to talk to I didn't want to talk to you about it on the podcast until you were mm-hmm. done. Once I can get the full. And, and Dan, I would heavily recommend you watch this. Because there's a lot to di- there's a lot to dissect. I, listen, if, I feel, I, if somebody yeah, reminds I you during I, the week, I can well, spend an hour or two and watch something, some of it. Because here's the thing. I think I told you about my thoughts about it, and I definitely explained it in a bad way to make you think that it's exclusively cringe humor. It is not. No, you didn't. You 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 said there was a lot of awkward humor. But I've also been watching... Um, there's a lot of awkward humor. I mean, the funniest part of it all is not the watching it. Watching it is pretty funny. There's some good bits. But it's when I'm like, Barry just pulled the dip! <laughs> And then, like, no one would be like, you know, he, he, it's it's a reference. Like, the lions? Like, the animals from the circus? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's one of those ones that's, like, it's, it's just, that's it's great for yeah. quotability, if nothing else. See, but here's the huge problem with that, right? I can't remember anything. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm the worst for quotes. We know. Because I the just, king of the tuk-tuk sound. I do love the king of the tuk-tuk sound. I mean, he's no Roy Donk, but he was a regular guest in the Colgate Comedy Hour. <laughs> Paul Bufano! Paul Bufano! <laughs> it's so good. It's so quotable. Yeah, I that, cannot recommend that it. That specific enough. segment resonated with me in a very, very big way. <laughs> this gazpacho soup just burned my lips. The gazpacho burnt your lips. Let me explain something to you. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about this later. I don't want to talk about it this week until we're all on the same page. But it's so quotable. Snarfing down hot pig dicks with these bags of meat. <laughs> Wait, are we the pig dicks or the bags of meat? I know, it sounds insane. Listeners, watch I Think You Should Leave. It's on Netflix. It's so, so good. It's so good. And episodes you like the episodes are like less than 20 over minutes yet, long. Rem- somebody remind me during the week. You read the over? My thoughts. Incredible. No, have you seen the hot dog? I don't think I have. Okay, you would know if you have. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to this. We'll get back to this. Uh, to, uh, this is probably as good a point as any to end the episode. I suppose so. It's, it's a, right, right about an hour. You know, we, we Thanksgiving, then I don't want to go off on this tangent because I want to do this, you know, when we're all mm. on the same boat. Mm-hmm. When we're all... Um, but yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm thankful for I Think You Should Leave with Tim Robinson. You know Netflix. what? That's something. It, it's given me hours of entertainment, and it's let me bond with uh, friends and coworkers who I make watch it. Are we are there we go. are we friends or are we coworkers? Don't it more enemies than anything else, but I'll oh. take coworkers. Is the podcast a job? Uh, it is once we become incorporated. Why are we not incorporated? Which we probably yet? should do realistically. Uh, be- oh, what do you mean? Why are we not incorporated yet? Have you seen my like have you seen my creative process and business stuff? Do you No. <laughs> do you want we'll talk about this off the air, pun intended. <laughs> Fucking but we do need to talk about this. <laughs> I can't believe you would do this to me. <laughs> I hate businesses, so if we be incorporated, I'm out. And for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> I hate companies, and for that reason, I'm Can you out. Imagine if somebody said that on Shark Tank. I would be the worst would be shark the on be- Shark Tank. Or the best. Be like, Buy my product, and I'd be like, I don't want to, and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> Honestly, I don't like though, the cut I mean, of your jib. That sounds more real. Like that sounds like a more valid reason than half the reasons that they sometimes give. They'll uh, like ask all these questions, and they like. So what about this? And they lay out all these like different answers and they're like prepared for them. And they're like, you came in here with a bad attitude. And for that reason, I'm out. And it's like, fuck you. Get out of yeah, here. Yeah, I definitely I don't know. I, I kind of love the ones where they they obviously have something that they fully believe in. And like even the sharks kind of believe in it. And but the person has such a terrible attitude about all of it that they don't want to fucking support them. I think you suck, and for and that basically, reason, basically, that's that is unironically my favorite thing that ever happens in the show. I mean, it's a good reason, honestly, because like if you don't like the face, of yeah, the business, exactly, then like it's really hard for you to get. It's, it's a it. good reason. It's mm-hmm. just always because they said some shit coming in, or like wouldn't listen to basic feedback. So I really think that calling this um, 
This product, that rude name, probably isn't a good idea. Yeah, well, all my friends liked it, so I think I'm going to keep that it. That is basically what it is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're an idiot, and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> I think this podcast is over, and for that reason, I'm out. We can't, we shouldn't let it end like that, right? I, we have, we, 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 we have socials we still have to do. We can't leave yet. Uh, no, well, I, I don't have any socials. Yeah, Bubba like, Bad, you, B-B-A-D-A-B-A-D, at, off, at the Off the Air, OTA Podcast. Uh, off the air on Patreon if you want to support monetarily. Non monetarily, shoot us a review on Apple Podcasts. Uh, yeah, say something nice. We'll read it out on the air. Dan? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Born Rule, Twitter.com at Born Rule 7. I am streaming Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and we are playing GTA. We're about to, we actually finished up Terraria pretty much. By the time this comes out, we, we're pretty much done with Terraria. Uh, and we're playing total work that come oh new total war dlc comes out in like a week a week and a half and that's really I exciting to say, i am absolutely not playing total war <laughs> on saturdays we play we're playing total war and the new dlc comes out in like a week and i am mad excited for it they have a they have yeah. a they have a rat who was a chaos warrior and a great general and then they took his brain out and put it in a giant mutant rat and now he's really pissed about it warhammer is fucking stupid that's my official Isn't that just isn't that just one of the Skaven? Isn't that just how the Skaven do? Skaven? No, well, sometimes... most Skaven are not. I took my brain out, the brain out of something else and put it into a big rat. I like the Cities of Sigmar. Cities of Sigmar are cool. Undercities are cool. The Wood Elves are getting some cool I shit like... that I'm really excited for. What about the lizards? lizards are dope. Lizards are wild. Lizards are out here the, like, the, what if the, the great plan? And then there's the fucking... <clears throat> the Skaven built a rocket. That was a thing. That sounds uh, right, yeah. That heads up. The, the Tomb Kings have boys. giant floating See. UFO cities. You you keep talking about Warhammer, and for that reason, I'm out. The best thing about Warhammer is that the orcs in Age of Sigmar are almost the exact same thing as the orcs yep. in 40k. Just one of them yep. have guns, and you're like, I love them. Those green lads are up to so much well, good. Sure, I'm like Grom the I like Grom they the Punch. The, he's just a dummy heart, thing. You know? he, just, he just kept eating, and he got real big, and now he's the biggest the biggest gobbo. Good Dude, he just, what if you? All right, Noah's out, so we should oh, yeah, probably, we should probably stop. do the same. Remember like 10 minutes ago when I was like, yeah, we're good to stop here. Yeah, this is good. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, everybody. Thanks for listening to the podcast. From our friends to you. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Th- make sure you get a shout out if, if you need a shout out. Noah manages those things, and I'm always if you message anything that's been yeah, wrong you on the podcast before. Um, because I forgot, um, Emma, Cloud, Sam, uh, y'all rock. Thank you much. Reach out to Noah out. and uh, also major shout out my my coworker who has uh, also become a patron at the highest <gasps> of tiers. Oh no! Oh no! Um, oh yeah, that's right. I haven't checked that yet. It's 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 pretty pogged. Big pogs. Uh, he's cool. So shout out, shout out there. Yeah, I will get you in contact with Noah. We'll get this figured out. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I won't. I just said I had no responsibility. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll, yeah. All right. Bye. Yeah.